All right, we're learning new information about the impact of an EF2 tornado that tore through Slidell, hit an apartment complex, caved in the roof, and displaced families. And tonight, one family allowed our crew inside to show firsthand just how bad the damage is. WDSU reporter Jonah Gilmore is live at 10 now. And Jonah, what did the home look like inside? Well, Sola Gina, I tell you, it was hard to walk through the apartment. Debris greets you at the door. Things are knocked over, and the ceiling, it's caved in. A teen, a senior in high school, telling me it's hard to see the place he grew up demolished just two weeks before he graduates high school. We thought this place was practically indestructible, Whoa. but... You never know. Inside Mason's Fuquay's apartment, there's not much left to salvage. There's water shirts coming in from the ceiling light and the closet door frame and my bedroom door frame and different holes in the ceiling. And suddenly I'm sitting there in my closet packing stuff and the ceiling caves in on top of me. Wednesday, an EF2 tornado ripped through their apartment complex, destroying the structure and displacing him and his mom. It's kind of surreal. Doesn't seem like it really happened yet. It hasn't really hit me, but... Like walking in there, I'm like, I slept there for 13 years of my life. The high school senior is set to graduate on the 30th. He says he did not plan to end the year packing what's left of his childhood and now wants to shift his focus to the future. At this point, I'd rather be in school, working towards a better future than just sitting here rotting, thinking about, oh, I'm homeless, oh, I'm this, oh, I'm that. Antonio James and his fiance live in the same complex, but are now sheltering at a motel. Happy that we, we got out of it, you know? Yeah, things are demolished, things are destroyed, but that's things that can be replaced. He says his fiance has cancer, but it's her strength that's guiding him through this difficult time. And she's a tough woman. And seeing what she's going through, I go through it with her. Both families tell WDSU this tornado came fast and damaged everything in its path. Some people say it's, it's the sound of a train. It was the sound of the repeat of Katrina. Everything's gone out front. All the cars are smashed. As a puddle still sits outside the ravaged complex, Fuqua and his grandfather loads a flatbed with his items, thankful for what he has left. All we can do is push forward at this point. The families tell me they were able to get what they can out of those apartment units, but everyone echoing the same message throughout Slidell, they are simply grateful to be alive. Reporting live in Slidell, Jonah Gilmore, WTSU News.